Is it safe to get a flu shot at your doctor's office? And how is the coronavirus different from other more common airborne viruses? WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall is here to answer some of your coronavirus questions. Carla writes, for decades now, society has existed with other viruses transmitted through the air. All this time, we've not worn masks for colds, measles, the flu, or chicken pox. Coronavirus isn't new. Why is everything now turned upside down for a common airborne virus? Carla, there are a few reasons. First of all, this coronavirus is new. Our immune systems have never seen it before. Plus, for some of the illnesses you mentioned, we have vaccines to fight them, including measles, chickenpox, and the flu. We don't have that for coronavirus. Plus, this virus is particularly aggressive. Not only is it potentially deadly, but we are just now learning some of the long-term health effects that some patients are experiencing. We have another question from Francine on Facebook, who says her brother has heart problems and lives in a rooming house. He tested positive for COVID. She wants to know if it's safe to bring him back to her house to stay. Francine, he should remain in isolation for at least 10 days since the beginning of the onset, since the beginning of his symptoms, and he should be at least 24 hours fever-free off medications before he goes back out in public. If you're going to bring him to a, bring him into your home while he's contagious, then you guys really need to steer clear of one another. If you are in the same vicinity, you both should wear masks. You want to disinfect common surfaces in your home and make sure you wash your hands frequently. Ricky asks on Facebook if it's safe to go to his local health care center to get a flu shot now. Yes, Ricky, this is the time to do it. Health centers and pharmacies are able to keep their patients and their customers safe. Just make sure you keep your mask on and be sure to follow their policies and procedures. We have another question from Facebook. Cynthia writes, is having a saxophone player plus singers perform at my 50th birthday backyard celebration safe? Cynthia, when someone plays a saxophone, they can't wear a mask. When people, singers are performing, they generally don't wear masks. So if any one of those people is infected with the coronavirus, there's a chance that he or she could be pro projecting the virus out into the atmosphere. Now, it's better to be outdoors, but you really are going to have to keep, keep clear of the performers. Maybe to be on the safer side, you want to hire a string quartet or a piano player. They can wear masks or even possibly a DJ. Now, Dr. Malika Marshall always offers her best advice, but says you should consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health. If you have a question for her, though, there are three ways you can reach her. Email drmalika at cbs.com on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.